Happy Halloween, everybody. James Sabalski here for EA Sports, and let's see what sort of spectacular surprises we have in store tonight. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Canadians will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Sends a pass over. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. And he slides it quickly to Zuccarello. Takes that pass back at the point. Passes it over. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Scrum ensues along the boards. Quick pass across to Zuccarello. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. Now over to Rossi. Oh, what a save on the play. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. The Wild have possession along the boards. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Montembeau. Matheson's fighting for an injury, really laboring to get to the bench here. He's going to look to finish his shift, but he's really struggling. Let's get the call. You're going to take a penalty. You might as well take your opponent with you as they both march to the box. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Simple stop by Fleury. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. More than half the period left to play. Still no score in this one. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Brodeen. Takes it to the net. Oh, what a save in front. Montembeau's in it to win it here. I mean, you can see it with that save. He tracks and he's so dialed in. It's a competitive nature to challenge the shooter in the slot. There's a shot. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Feeds it over. Pinned up along the boards. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Oh, he exploded on him in the open ice. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming. And that's what he does with that first hit. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. That knocks him off the puck. Takes the pass. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. The Canadians gain control of the puck. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Takes it along the wall by Roy. Into the offensive end now. And that's knocked away by Merrill. And serves up a little knock on the play. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Pokes it away in his own end. Anderson's got the puck in his own zone. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose the defender there. Shuts him down. Dishes it off. Slides it across. Here's a chance. Oh, close save and a beauty. Injury he suffered earlier. We just received word from.
from the staff that he will be out for an indefinite amount of time. An unfortunate storyline here throughout the game, and now we know for sure he won't be back. Flurry's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Here in the back half of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Gets a piece of it to make the save. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Evans won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Canadians are on the attack. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Moves it on over to Brodine. Moves it to Gallagher. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And a great save. Minnesota's gained possession. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. from their own end. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Let's go! We'll talk about a friendly pick right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. When you get in tight with the goaltender, you have to make sure you outweigh the tendy, and this is exactly what happens. Good patience on the deep here. Sell the low shot and go high. Great goal. to start the second move. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Here's a short pass to Polino. Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. Poked away at center by Brodeen. First 20 minutes of play is in the box. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Start of period number 
June. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Canadians find themselves in a close game here, only trailing by one. It could have been much worse because they didn't manage the puck at all. They didn't look connected either, James. They got to get talking if they want to shore that up and look to go the other direction. Moves the puck. Moves inside! And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Now, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Slides it diagonally to Faber. And he's ridden off the puck. And somehow he hangs on. Pass back to the point. And that's blocked. Denies him in close. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. We're still in the early stages of this period. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. The Canadians take possession off the faceoff. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Broke away! Oh, denies him on the play! Uh, this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across. To make that save. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. And that one's picked off. And he shuts the door on that. Oh, just a great heads up play by Boldy. Minnesota's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Still lots of time left in the period. Minnesota's up one zip. Nice job tying up his opponent. Scooped up along the wall by Hartman. Great blocker stopped by Montembeau. Blocked in front. And down it goes as the puck goes free. Shots on net, and they lead here in this second. Evans wins possession off the draw. The Habs move the puck in the defensive zone. And that's broken up. Gallagher's got it in the offensive zone. Lays the body. Great hit on the play. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Montreal sliding the puck behind the net and makes the save. Still lots of time left here in this frame, and it's a 2 0 hockey game. Montreal's won the draw, and a great save! flurry has got the puck and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, but he makes a key save right there. Really important that he keeps his head and focus in the game. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Habs will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, and he makes the save! I thought he was peeling on one timer, but no! Minnesota's on the attack. Montreal 
Bengals got the puck in their own end. Into the offensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out. Sends the pass over. And he takes the pass. From the open ice, they gain the line. Quick shot. Turned aside with the glove by Fleury. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead. The Habs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Works it across to Brodeen. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes a shot. Scores! right now. They lead it 3-0. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Here they come on the rush. Dances around the defender. Look out! And a great save! What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Nice dish from the left wing. Feeds it over. What a save by Montembeau. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. And it's kicked away. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Minnesota's been consistent through 40 minutes of play here, James, and they have a comfortable lead. Now it's about bringing it home, and in order to do that, you've got to make sure that you're defensively responsible. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 
Minnesota's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Rossi's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Montreal's moving it into the offensive end. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Minnesota's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Feeds it on over to Johansson. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Habs looking against the half wall. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck across to Johansson. Dishes it off. And he takes the dish. Great reach with the hook check. Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Minnesota's got the lead early in the third period. They have been the far busier team offensively tonight. Dvorak's won the draw and they're on the attack. Big time stop there. Tries to feed it over to Hartman. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Moves it to Dvorak. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Picked off. Hartman's taking it from his own end. Puck dumped in. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. And a good solid hit on that play. Quick pass across to Devora. Right through center and into the offensive zone. Moves it in front. And that's stopped. Sends it ahead to Hartman. On the attack along the boards. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the head. A huge goal here has put them right back into this one. Yeah, and if they can get one more, they'll be one away from tying this game up, James. So it's about building and continually finding ways to press and be aggressive on the puck. The Canadians have to find a way to get a couple more here if they want to try to salvage this one. Taking calculated risks, James, and jumping into the attack and pressing upwards. Now, you may give up some opportunities the other way, but you got to go for it. And that's a great read to force the turnover. Steps into the offensive end. Shot! And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Moves the puck into the attacking area. And that goes off a body. Still has possession. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Quick pass to Savard. Montreal's got it along the wall. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. More than half the period has expired. The Canadians are down a pair. Montreal's got it, and they're on the attack. A chance taken by Merrill. Handles the pass from the right side. Shot, big stop by the goaltender right in front. I love how aggressive he plays the shooter on the inner slot here, James. He knows that he's got to take away the net, so he gets out and challenges to make the save. Both teams gliding into position, and the official set to drop the puck. Minnesota's won it, now they'll go on the attack. Moves it quickly over to line A. Here we go, odd man rush here. Off target. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck leaves the zone. Grabbed along the board by Shekai. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Broken up.
Kucherov with the stick in the defensive end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Doc's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Here's a short pass to Shekai. They score! And just like that, they're back within one. Oh, the temperature can change within a game so fast, James, because now they've applied pressure to their opponent. You can certainly see that that bench is elevated. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. Montreal's got to be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Evans picks up the puck, loses his balance on the play, slides the puck across to Gallagher, looking to make something happen along the boards. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Looking to set up offensively. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked up along the boards by Armia. And he takes the feed. Drives to the paint! Oh, one of his teammates was right in the shooting lane there. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. That's intercepted. And now it's grabbed by Caulfield. Great heads up play with the stick by Faber. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Slides it quickly to Zuccarello. Under a minute to play in this dandy. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Handles the puck at the point. Quick feed to Suzuki. Here's an odd man rush. There's a great glove save by Fleury. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of the crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Here in the late goings of the period, Minnesota's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The Habs take possession off the face -off. Great chance and an even better save. Fleury's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's needed to make, and it's all about